My name is Lee Osler. I'm a dentist in Richland, Washington. Uh, you've probably never been there either, but it's in the southeast corner of the state of Washington. And I'm privileged to be here today. We're going to spend the morning with you and talk about some principles, um, some fun things about the science behind uh, inflammation, as well as the, on our second part, we're going to talk about how to translate this into some uh, marketing and how to build your practice uh, by interacting with uh, physicians. So this morning we're going to get really deep into some technical stuff about the science. As you'll see in my presentation, the science is critical to uh, making whatever you're going to do in the field of periodontics uh, or TMD or sleep or any other uh, you know, module or, or topic you have. It's, it's critical to do that and then to translate that into being able to interact with physicians in, in the medical community. You really have to know your stuff. Um, before we get started, how many offices treat TMD? Quite a number. And sleep? <clears throat> if we have time, I'll, I'll give you a five or ten minute thing on uh, TMD as we get going here. Um, what I'm going to ask is for your patience as we get through this technical stuff. You may have lots of questions. If you could write them down, reserve them, we can... We can uh, do a Q&A if we have time, um, and, and, I, and I don't want to, uh, I don't want to bore anybody, but there's some really important technical de details that you need because there's a language that you need to understand um, in order to treat uh, periodontics. So our first part this morning, we're going to talk about the science of inflammation, and then we're going to talk about re uh, building that referral networks. I liken this a little bit to the concept of uh, a contractor or a handyman would have a tool belt and there's a lot of tools in your belt. Screwdrivers, hammers, pliers, and wire strippers or whatever. And you, you put the tool belt on and you walk into a, a job, you don't necessarily need or will ever use all of the tools in your belt, some more than others, <clears throat> but what makes you, the question is what makes you decide which tool to use? There's a principle behind it. And so I'm, I'm gonna call this principle-based periodontics or principle-driven uh, periodontics and we'll develop that theme as we, as we move forward. Um, you could think of it as a mission impossible, is it? Um, I was recently uh, presented with a uh, lab report on one of my patients, uh, and the, the assistant asked, what do we do? And I remember sitting there, not dumbfounded, but it's like I had to think, I had to think, and we're gonna develop this theme a little bit later as well with the concept and the idea of uh, what do you do? You're a doctor. Okay. Thank you. So, let's get going here. The first thing I want to get, do is give us a little bit of inspiration. And that is, uh, what do you do here? Uh, we've got an idea here where the paradigm has shifted. How many of you have read the... Uh, the book, Who Moved My Cheese? Interesting book, isn't it? Okay. Who Moved My Cheese? Well, Joel Barker, a uh, prominent uh, futurist, said you can, you can and should shape your own future because if you don't, somebody else surely will. He also said when the paradigm shifts, everybody goes back to zero. And Albert Einstein said in the middle of difficulty lies opportunity. And so whenever you get stuck, just think of that. My favorite is this one by Will Rogers. So there's three kinds of men. The men that learn by reading, the few that learn by observation, and the rest of them have to pee on the electric fence and find out for themselves. <laughs> so with a little bit of uh, understandable humor there, uh, hopefully we don't have to resort to that tactic in order to learn this information. The science of inflammation. <clears throat> uh, I need to disclose I am the... Uh, developer and author and purveyor of uh, MD referrals. Uh, it's a program that we're going to talk about. Uh, I will say at the outset, um, everything that you will see that I'm presenting, I pretty much developed on my own um, in the sense that I reverse engineered. I sat down with what do I need? How, if I were to go talk to a physician, what would I do? What would I put together? And we just got to the point where as people began to find out about it, they said, well, can we have a copy of it too? Or can we do the same thing? One thing led to the other, and this, this emerged. So we're going to re be referring. But everything I'm talking about, you could go home, and with your computer, 
with the internet access and with your own skills and the programs you already have on your own computer, you can do everything I've done on your own if you're crazy enough to spend that much time to do it. Here's the concept. This is the big overview. Um, there's three components in my world as to how this entire program works. And the first part is the science. This is the language. This is what uh, physicians speak. This is what the, the medicine is all about. And then you have to put systems. You have to put resources and materials and tools together that will allow you to go forward. And then you have to have some system for managing it, a physician relationship management tool. And we'll talk more about that. 